Hello and welcome to my first of what hopefully will be a series of uh, short videos. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the new rally keyword. Uh, this is something that has just come out with the new Rockigan at Warpack um, and I honestly have no idea uh, why this was introduced. As far as I can see it is an auto include in every deck um, if you had a blank card that had the rally keyword you would play uh, three copies of it. Um, so, okay, let's have a quick look at what the actual rules are. So, uh, Rally is a keyword ability that appears on Dynasty cards. When a card with the Rally keyword is revealed in a player's province, that player adds the top card of their Dynasty deck to the same province base of. Notably, this doesn't count as revealing, so if you uh, draw into another Rally, it's not going to trigger. Uh, both cards are in the province together and either can be played as an action during the dynasty phase. So, uh, oh yeah, and do not reveal or do not refill a province until it is fully empty. So, if you've got multiple ones, you have to discard all the way down. So, every time you reveal a rally card, you're going looking at the next one. So, essentially, you're tinning your deck. Uh, so, take out the worst three cards in your deck, put in three rally cards instead, and your deck is instantly better. Uh, now, that would be good if we just had a blank card that just had the rally keyword, but we're not. We are actually getting cards uh, that have words on them. Uh, so, the first one I want to look at is a Season of War. So, a Season of War is the neutral one. Um, so, this is a Dynasty event, uh, and it lets you pay one as an action during Dynasty phase to discard all cards in all provinces to start a new Dynasty phase. So, you know, there's a lot of good things that you can do. Get rid of opponent's holdings. Uh, clear a bad draw on your side, clear a good draw on your opponent's side. Um, but the big thing about it is it's got Rally, it's a neutral card, so we can pretty much expect everyone to be playing three copies of this at all times, uh, even if they never use the ability. Um, so it, this has got some pretty big implications. Um, it does mean that holdings and decks that use holdings or that, that stick around are going to be in a bit of trouble because this is a way to, to clear those holdings off and discard. It also means that we're, you know, Dynasty Mill could be a thing that happens if people are using this a lot. Um, you could see people hit zero cards in their Dynasty deck pretty fast. Um, okay, let's let's look at the, the next card on that list. This is Recalled Defenses. Okay, so this is a Crab Dynasty event. And all this does is, you know, they can pay one during the Dynasty phase to move a holding they already have to uh, their Stronghold. Moving it there kind of keeps it safe. You can't attack it straight away. It frees up one of the provinces that refills. There's a couple of benefits for it, but you know it's not it's not a big thing. The 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 real reason for playing this is the fact that it's got it's got rally, uh, so you know you can tin your deck. It, it, it's situational but useful. Um, so in the upcoming Dublin Kotai, uh, where this pack is going to be legal, uh, Crab are the only clan are going to be able to play six rally cards. This means their deck is closer to 34 cards and it's going to be much more consistent than before. Uh, now, obviously, people are concerned. You know, what happens if I draw into one of these bad rally cards, weak rally cards, and then flip another one and, you know, I don't get a character. So if you draw into one, okay, then you've, you've still got, you know, five of those rally cards left in the remaining 36 cards of your deck. That's only about a 13% chance to actually flip another one. So, you know, it certainly could happen, but it's not particularly high. And you have to factor in that uh, if you have any other rally cards revealed at that point, you would have probably flipped a non-rally card onto that. So, you know, that opens up an option and reduces the chances of another rally card being in your deck. But more importantly, if one province is a dud, you still have the other three. But that's still a low chance. Typically, what's going to happen is you're going to reveal a rally card and you're going to cycle into the next card. Um, you know, it'll, it'll actually just make your deck a lot more consistent. You're literally taking out the worst cards out of your deck and putting in the best cards. Um, now, at this point, you'd be forgiven for thinking that Rally was added to make the new Dynasty events more attractive. Um, so, the two cards we've looked at so far, you know, they've got interesting effects, but if it wasn't for Rally, you probably wouldn't put them into the deck. Um, there, there are cool effects, uh, but, you know, paying that one means you lose out on passing fate and um, you're kind of doing stuff uh, and spending fate not, not on characters um, and obviously if you flip into another one uh, you know there's that there's that small risk but we're not just seeing it on uh, events here's a Koma Sunuri 
Uh, this is an absolutely fantastic character. Um, the stats look very, um, look very lion stereotypical, and not I don't mean that in a good way. But it's Bushi, it's a commander, and uh, you know the ability shuts down uh, provinces, which was a big enough deal that Pathfinder's Blade got put on the restricted list. Uh, Akumasunri is just straight up a fantastic character and has rally. You know, that's like it goes into current decks that are winning tournaments and just makes them instantly better. Uh, similar can be said of the Twilight Rider. This is a, a three cost, three one one, Bushi Cavalry Scout uh, with Rally. I mean, the reaction here um, when they move into a province, they can straighten someone. It doesn't have to be themselves. Uh, it, it's basically the deck that they're already playing and they're having some limited success. Uh, they're not winning tournaments in the same way that line are but it is it is a strong deck and this fits straight into it but it's also got rally so you know you're, you're taking out your your worst cards out of your deck you're slimming down your deck and it just happens that this character that you're using with is is also good uh, okay so here's a dilemma we've only seen a few of these rally cards um the events are kind of fun they're weak ish uh, you're getting a nice bonus with the rally are, well, you're playing it for a rally, really, but you're getting a nice bonus with the weak effect. The characters, however, are ridiculous. The characters are super good. Um, the yeah, the, these are they're not just situational cards with a kicker. They're powerful cards that'll probably never come out of decks because they've got the rally keyword. Um, so to sum up, rally is an auto include. You're definitely going to be playing. You definitely would play three copies of a blank card with rally, um, maybe as many as six. Uh, you're certainly going to be playing a season of war um yeah and cards like twilight rider and the commissary they aren't a question you just put them straight in there they will instantly improve your deck uh, in so many ways uh, so I, I honestly have no idea what the design intent for rally was um and yeah i i i don't understand it um We've seen Tyler's design approach before is to introduce a new keyword into with a new cycle. And, you know, this appears to be one of the ones for this cycle. But after the cycle ends, they typically get abandoned. So if you're Unicorn in line, be very happy because you've already got super powerful rally cards. Um, crab, you know, it's, it's, it's a cool enough event. Um, I wouldn't be upset with it if I was Crab. But if when the rest of them come out, if your clan doesn't get a a really strong one, preferably on the level of uh, Sunuri and the Twilight Rider, that's going to stick around, um, because those are super powerful cards that are going to be meta defining from here on out. Uh, and if your clan doesn't get one or it isn't good enough, you're probably going to be stuck stuck in that hole until something happens about it. So yeah, to sum up, rally auto include. No idea why it's been designed or what the intention is. Would love to find out. Um, but yeah, uh, play some games, put them in some decks and see how it goes. All right. Thank you for listening and uh, have a great evening.